Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we are going to look at the latest weekly challenge. So this is a snow race at the Hill Street circuit. There's the track covered in snow which of course gives some grip issues. I'm going to use automatic gears and these difficulty settings full in everything and these are the tuning settings that I'm going to use and we're in the speedbird for this one. And these are the targets that we've trying to get so we need over 130,000 points for the gold in a set we'll go straight into my best run so far and my best score and then after that I've got some tips that I think will uh, really help you get a good score okay let's have a go at this then three laps 130,000 I need for the gold I'm gonna go over to the right for my start like I uh, normally tend to do there's a few ways of doing the starts up the left up the right or down the middle and I'll go through them in my tips at the end right we need to be lucky and manage to punch a hole through here if possible that's not a bad start if those cars just on my left don't come across we'll manage to hold it and we are right in behind the lead already right drifting wide here got to avoid them barriers all right coming into this really dangerous loop back turn now got to hold it tight without getting hit wide I and mean, push slightly wide there those cars going to slip up the inside yeah one's come past and there's cars on the crossover oh they've taken out the two leaders and that's put me up into the lead that was uh, really lucky looks like second place and third actually are right behind me so I might have to be a little bit defensive coming into this corner let's have a quick look oh, no they've dropped back slightly they're battling so I can actually take a reasonable line through here just trying to keep as much momentum as possible it really is a uh, really is a lack of grip driving around this circuit in the speedbird with snow on the ground okay coming up to the end of the first lap then and of course now we're in the lead our multiplies right up to the maximum of five times and uh, yeah it doesn't seem to be any bonuses at all for hitting or wrecking any of the vehicles and doesn't seem to be any bonuses for lap times as well so the two key things really about this challenge are getting to the lead as fast as possible and stay there and that's it really right just got to watch coming around this loop back corner again the cars not too far behind and again it's hard to keep the car moving car stricken on the outside there right we've got to get a gap through here oh there's a nice gap hopefully those chasing cars might get held up back markers already badly damaged quite often come into uh, back markers on this challenge is uh, oh that one's doing donuts which way they're going to go let's get around the back oh and another one right on the corner as well we'll have to go around the back of that one as well that was really awkward position hopefully that might uh, slow the chasing cars down more than it did us though okay clear up the straight by the look of it towards the end of the second lap and second place is about half a straight behind now I found that uh, very often even if you can get the car up into the lead for this weekly challenge that uh, with the uh, the lack of grip in our car the AI can quite often catch up and challenge back for the lead again it's uh, it's it's not easy to get into the lead and sail off into the distance so again as as holding that posi first position is is really key and lap times isn't important then yeah you can uh, afford to be really really defensive if you need to to hold your first place okay looks like there's a possibly a stricken car and a wrecked car around here so again I've just got to watch is that probably that car still doing donuts maybe <laughs> uh, it's in the uh, it's in the barriers now and where's that wrecked car that was here at least it's been pushed into the side I think so we're clear Again, the chasing AI have actually closed down slightly, but we are going to be fine. There's not much of a gap here. Can we just sneak through here? Yeah, okay. This is going to be a pretty good score, I think. Let's see what we get. Certainly a gold trophy score, and it is 243,654. Okay, a couple of quick tips then. As I said, start is absolutely key. Going down the left-hand side and around the outside of the first corner is definitely an option. You can hold it out, just wait, wait, hopefully a gap will appear and then you just fire through. Quite often some cars swing out like that, but uh, yeah, if you can be lucky you can make up quite a lot of places. So again on this one, this is just showing that again you can wait for the gap, but sometimes cars will then swing over to the left and block your path, unfortunately. 
I've tried going down the middle as well but not that keen on that going down the right this time I accelerate and just feather the accelerator just so you don't clip the back of them cars as you're pulling behind them power down the inside then brake just before you get the corner maybe a bit of handbrake and you're trying to ride off the inside of those cars if possible rather than plow into them and this was a really good start on this one again totally easy to uh, to get caught up coming down the right as well this time I plowed into the cars a bit more they all tend to come across and then jam up the right hand side so if you've had a good start coming into this first loop back corner is always tricky you've got to take this slow and once you've lost momentum it's so difficult so I try and hold it tight so the cars can't get past and through the uh, crossover you'll see on this one if you if you uh, go in slightly deep and fast and run it wide again you're struggling for grip and then before you know it the AI are all shooting up the inside and past you so the next challenge is that crossover which is uh, is a tricky one if you get a good run it's no problem you just sail straight through but if you have to break at all or try and uh, judge a gap it's very difficult because again the lack of grip it's hard to get going again and uh, you can easily get wiped out so once you're in first place the key thing is not how fast you can get around the laps it's trying to keep in the lead so if you need to be defensive and block cars it's definitely worth doing this one actually managed to slip up past me for a while but I quickly got past again other thing to watch is wrecked cars and uh, cars missing wheels doing donuts in the track you get quite a lot of those on this challenge and uh, <laughs> yeah you have to take avoidance tactics and finally another thing to watch is if you hit a barrier there is a good chance you might lose a wheel and of course that's uh, effectively going to be the end of that run well there's the gold trophy and the 20,000 fame points for this one I hope some of those tips were helpful and good luck for getting a really good score on this weekly challenge I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon